everybody, welcome to another Excel video. This lesson we're going to talk about sales reps working with SOMFs and VLOOKUPs to produce a sales commission report. So first, let's inspect the data. You'll see that we have a variety of information pulled in from QuickBooks. And the second thing we're going to do is just kind of get just the total sales for this period here. Okay. So I can do that using the sum ifs formula uh, by looking down each the sales rep column, pulling out every single time we have a sales rep listed here to the right. We can add up the amounts. Okay, so let's go. So equals sum ifs. Now you might have noticed there's sum if and sum ifs. I recommend you do the sum ifs. It's just going to make it easier if you ever want to expand and add more criteria. Okay, the first argument is the sum range. So that will be under the amount. I'm gonna click on the first dollar amount then on a PC, control shift arrow down. Okay, and I'd like to use that every time. So I'm gonna hit F4 to make it absolute reference. The dollar sign should be in there on a PC F4 to do so. Then moving into the criteria, similarly, we're gonna select the sales reps all the way down, I'm gonna hit F4 so that it makes it absolute referenced. And lastly, the criteria. So our criteria will be to the side. In this case, it's John Doe. As we copy down, it'll be the others. Okay, <clears throat> if we can true this up here, we can select all of this. We can look down at the bottom, 51, 7, 10. Select all of this and look down at the bottom, do 51, 7, 10. Or I can do the alt equals shortcut to verify that's our total there. Okay, awesome. So that matches out here. And now that's our total. So, but now we need to do the fees, less fees. So, for example, a credit card is going to be a 2.9% fee that we need to subtract out. So let's take a look at creating a quick little VLOOKUP here. First, I'm gonna select this group of table, go to insert and make it a table. I'm gonna name my table fees. Okay. And so now I'm gonna come over here and type fees. All right, so I want to do an equals VLOOKUP. So what I'm looking up is going to be this payment method. I'm going to find it in the table array called fees there. Once I find it, I want to go over two to, two, to the right, and I want to do an exact match. So if it's not there, I get an error statement. Okay, so I hit enter. There we go, I'm gonna double click. And every time we have a credit card, we have the 2.9%. Scroll down. We can see we have a problem here with PayPal was not listed in my, my data set table. So in the future, if I had that issue, I would have selected, to prevent that, I could have selected all of these values, copied them, could have came over to the side and pasted them just as a quick little method there. And then here's a nice trick to pull out all the unique values. So it's going to be data tab, remove duplicates. Okay, make sure nothing's, you know, to the left or the right and everything like that. And look at that. So if that was, if I would have started off like that, I could have easily seeing that PayPal was one of the items there. But um, since I already have the table, I can come over here. Let's say that PayPal gets 3%. So PayPal, and then I can do 3%. Okay. Now the cool thing about the, the VLOOKUP is for that PayPal, you can see that it automatically uh, updated 
in the VLOOKUP. I didn't have to do anything because all because it was it was looking inside the table. So all of these VLOOKUPs are looking inside the table called fees. And the beautiful thing about having the table linked to it is that it is is going to allow us to easily add on additional uh, records and it automatically populates that. So that's that's pretty awesome. That is just pretty amazing. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is report how many fees did uh, this particular group do. So I'm going to do another equal sum ifs. Based off the sum range now is going to be the fees. Oh, one second here. That is not quite the formula here. I, I need to multiply times, I need to add on to that times the 500 there. So that's the fees there, 1450. That's what we want to do. Okay, so now I'm ready to type equals sum ifs. I'm adding up the fees. Control shift down, F4, comma. Criteria range is going to be <coughs> salespeople. Control shift down, F4, comma. Okay, same like before. And then the criteria is going to be John Doe. All right. So $406. I'm going to do control shift four, put those in currency formulas. That's my fees. And now I'm going to get um, after fees. Equals their total less fees. And then I can do my commission. So let's say it's 70%. So equals this times 0.7. Gonna label that 70% there. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that is using the sum ifs and a VLOOKUP to produce a summary report on commission sales people here. Let's go play around in a pivot table because you'll appreciate the pivot table if you have a, a pretty strong looking table here. I'm just gonna make format painter on here. Okay, if you have a pretty strong looking table here, you can create a pivot table by going insert pivot table. It will go on a new worksheet. And I'm gonna bring in the sales rep in the rows. And I'm going to bring in the um, amount here. And so that will show us the total amount. That's another way to work off of that, to show that. And if there was ever a scenario where you wanted to see uh, information, like let's, for example, Bob Dylan, 8639. If I, I could just double click that. And what it does is it opens up a new worksheet with all of the records being populated out of the, the pivot table into a new worksheet. So I can analyze that, realize the pivot table is always to the left of the worksheet, and then we're back to the regular sales by class V here. Hey everybody, thanks for watching.